This is a colony of bumblebees. Mm. And bumblebees do buzz pollination, so they will grab the flower parts with their mandibles and they'll vibrate their wings. And you'll often hear them if you see them like in a rose. They'll be making this bzzz sound while they are visiting the flower. And that's them buzz pollinating and it makes the plants release the pollen. So the questions that I'm really interested in are about how does the chemistry of floral nectar influence bee behavior? And in turn, how does that change in bee behavior affect pollination of plant? So one of the things that I'm particularly interested in at the moment is how do compounds that are present in floral nectar prevent nectar from fermenting? And if it does ferment, what's the consequences of that fermentation for the bee behavior and therefore a potential negative consequence for the plant? So what I do is I train bees to one particular color. Here I'm training this colony of bees to yellow in this example, and they're foraging on these little flowers, artificial flowers, that are filled with sucrose solution, and uh, they're getting experience going to yellow flowers and associating that yellow color with a reward. And then what I'll do is when I will let only one bee out at a time, and I will give that individual bee uh, an arena that's full, instead of all yellow, a mixture of yellow and blue, and I will look at how sticky is that bee to the yellow that she's had experience foraging on versus how much is she willing to investigate in all the things. Patty is also interested in the effects of alcohol on the social behavior of bees and whether they're more likely to join other bees at flowers under the influence of alcohol. What I'm finding from some preliminary things is that alcohol seems to be increasing the amount of time that bees spend on flowers when they're joining other bees on flowers, but not when they're visiting flowers alone. I think that the alcohol itself is shifting their behavior, but we don't have enough data yet to really say for sure. What about this research fascinates and excites you? Um, honestly, bumblebees make really good company. They really do. And I work at least two hours um, for my shifts and it just went by. It's really interesting seeing all the different personalities within the bees. One of the biggest elements in this lab is surprises.